Hello everyone, my name is Krista Lee Matalevich, and I am one of the new bloggers here for Dissociative Living on HealthyPlace.com. I'm really honored to be given this opportunity to write and to share my knowledge and experiences with all of you. I have my bachelor's degree in psychology, but I also experience dissociation in my everyday life. I also have a passion for writing. Two months ago, I started a blog to share my experiences as a survivor of mother-daughter sexual abuse as I'd recently been able to free myself from my abuser and start my healing journey. While on that journey, I received a diagnosis of dissociative identity disorder, a diagnosis I'd managed to evade for the last 14 years. I wish I could say that accepting my diagnosis has been easy, but it hasn't been. There's still days that I wake up and tell myself that I really don't have this disorder, that it's just been some big misunderstanding. I think part of the difficulty in accepting a DID diagnosis is acknowledging that you've had some really traumatic things happen to you. And sometimes it's just easier to go on as if those things never happened. I know for me it's also difficult because I feel so disconnected to my parts. I know they exist because others have met them, but I really don't know anything about them. And to know that there's parts of you that are there but you really have no clue about, but others do, it's just a difficult thing to accept. We're also taught that DID is some rare, over-the-top disorder, and nobody wants that label put on them. But the reality is that DID is not rare, and you can't tell a person has DID just from looking at them. There's no magic pill to cure DID, no guaranteed therapy, no for sure cure. It takes a lot of physical, mental, and emotional hard work to get through it, but it's possible. You can still function, you can go to school, you can hold a job, you can have relationships and build a family, but you have to put forth the effort. I want this blog to be for everyone, from those of us who have DID or another dissociative disorder, to those who are just curious about dissociation. I want to include a variety of topics, from coping with your diagnosis to the importance of therapy and self-care, to managing relationships, to just getting through day-to-day -day living with a dissociative disorder. I know that I'm just starting out on my DID journey, but I feel like I have a different perspective to offer my readers. I look forward to blogging, and I hope that you all will keep reading. Stay positive. Stay strong and remember that we are all survivors.